Leroy Nelson Olmsted Jr. was born January 28, 1914 in Minneapolis, Minnesota, moving to Texas when he was young. He studied at the University of Texas where he got experience in the Austin theater scene, notably with the Little Theater. While an undergraduate, Olmsted joined the Texas Curtain Club in 1935, and the amateur actors performed in weekly plays over an Austin radio station. This experience led to his first part-time radio job in 1935 as an announcer on Austin's KNOW. By 1936, he was promoted to program director, and a year later, Fort Worth's WBAP hired him away. In a turn from his announcing and sports coverage for the station, on October 31, 1937, he was featured on WBAP's mystery drama Black Knight. The show also featured Harry Hawksworth, Mae Robeson, Johnny Sullivan, and script adaptations by Virginia Wilton. Black Knight, which aired between 1937 and 1939, attracted a lot of attention from regional listeners. It was during this period at WBAP that Olmsted created The World's Greatest Short Stories. The program caught the ear of NBC executives, and they lured him to Chicago in the fall of 1940, where he continued the series intermittently until 1947. Between October 1940 and 1944, he starred on the 15-minute show Dramas by Olmsted, or sometimes called Story Dramas by Olmsted. Whether original episodes continued to be produced during this entire span, or whether part of that was uh, reruns, is not clear. During World War II, Olmsted went to work for the Armed Forces Radio Service, where he continued broadcasting his dramas to listeners overseas. And in late 1947, Olmsted relocated to New York, where one of his first programs was Olmsted and Company, a light musical program over NBC with Tom Scott and the Norman Clodier Orchestra. Other New York series included the quarter hour Your Story for Today on ABC. By 1949, Nelson Olmsted was testing the television waters. One of his earliest known television broadcasts was What Happens Now, a show over WOR. It focused on feeding a troupe of improv actors material to spontaneously create sketches as he served as MC. Olmsted continued to make appearances on dramatic radio programming throughout the 1950s, notably on such series as X-1 and The Eternal Light. From 1952 until the summer of 1957, he hosted Sleep No More. Starting as a 15-minute show of ghost and horror stories, it became a 30-minute show starting in November of 1956. Olmsted narrated and would voice all the characters. In 1952, he took over narration of the radio version of The Ohio Story, produced for Bell Telephone and he would continue until the end of the radio run on December 29, 1955. Olmsted was on all 175 television episodes of The Ohio Story from October 4, 1953 until it left the air on March 18, 1961. However, he would continue with dramatic radio through the 1960s and 1970s as the narrator of Stories of Pacific Powerland, sponsored by Pacific Power & Light. The approximate 2,500 of the five-minute historic dramas appeared three times a week until 1977. Nelson Olmsted was increasingly focused on television throughout the 1950s and 60s, appearing on beloved series such as The Philco Television Playhouse from 49 to 52, The Phil Silver Show from 56 to 58, Perry Mason from 60 to 63, and McHale's Navy from 63 to 66. He was cast in over a dozen motion pictures between 1959 and 1977, most notably Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1969. The Internet Movie Database gives him 90 credits for movies and television. Nelson Olmsted married fellow actor Alma Mayer Holloway in 1938. They are known to have at least one daughter, Lynn Yvonne Bell, and two sons, Ross Nelson and Mark Andrew. Olmsted died April 8, 1992, in Torrance, California, from complications after suffering a stroke. He was 78. 
For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Thank you for listening.